Um, this is the second video for To Investigate, which is our database software. If you want um, a beginner's guide to it, um, have a look on our YouTube channel for part one, which will go through it uh, in depth and in detail. So what we're going to do today is have a look at a collaborative database. So I've got an imaginary two people here. I've got my own account here and I've got an imaginary classmate called Joe Blogs here. And what this lets us do is all work together because adding in a lot of information can take a lot of time. But if we share that between us, then it can be really easy. So what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to be Joe Blogs and I'm going to add in some records into this database and we'll see what happens. So the only difference on the screen you can see is this here, where we've got this green flashing icon. And that means that we're collaborating. So what I need to do is just make sure that that is flashing green. Uh, and as long as it's flashing green, then I know that we're all working together. So I'm going to add in a new item to my database. I've only got one record in here at the moment, which is about fair trade bananas. So I've managed to find uh, some other information uh, on some coffee. So I'm going to first of all upload my picture. And pop my picture on there. Making sure I'm looking in the right place. So on my picture there, I can add in the text. I'm going to put the data name, which is Machu Picchu Coffee. And the price was 385. The country of origin was Peru. And this is added by, and you put your own name in here, Joe Blogs. So I then press OK, and my record has been created. And if you look over here, look, it's popped up on my account as well, because we're all working together on exactly the same one. And any records that I add here will appear on the other account. And if I have a look at the list of records, I can see it's exactly the same. And so you don't need to add the same as other people, and that's actually quite important. So when you are adding records into a collaborative database, the first thing you need to do is to click on this icon up here and check what's been added already, and make sure that you don't put the same one in again. You need to find something different. So that's the only difference with the collaborative databases, is just check before you start what records are already there, and so you know that you're not doing the same as someone else. Enjoy.